Hey YouTube, um, Fish is coming at you today, and today I'm going to be reviewing Space Jam. Um, I've got two flavors of Space Jam to review today. One is Andromeda, the other is Eclipse. Um, I'll be testing it today on my borrowed Keen mod with a borrowed Caterpillar. My build is small. Uh, it's like a 0.5 ohm build. I don't do anything crazy when it comes to sub ohm, you know, but 0.5, so cotton base, you know. What can I say about Space Jam? Well, first off, let me state that right now I'm having a hard time with vaping. Um, I've got what I've referred to as vapor's fatigue. Pretty much, no matter what juice it is, I get a juice. It's great for a day, and then it goes downhill. And it's it's not necessarily the juice. It's just me not having the flavors I need to be able to rotate around and keep from getting burned out on a flavor. So um, I'm going to try to keep my vaporing fatigue out of this review and just give you a true, honest review of Space Jam. Um, I was really excited to find that my bro local brick and mortar sold Space Jam. You know, I've heard great, great things about Space Jam, and I was really, really excited. The first bottle I got, and I've already reviewed, and I took the review down just because I didn't like the video, uh, was the Andromeda, okay? This is a blueberry pomegranate e-juice. Um, it's 50-50. I got it in 12 nick. What can I say about this? It's a good juice, all right? Don't get me wrong. It's not my flavor profile. Um, I thought it would be because I've been on Fruity Vapes for a while, but this was just, it wasn't doing it for me. The flavors were there. The flavors were more than there. You know, you had your blueberry, clear as day, nice blueberry flavor. You had the pomegranate, clear as day, nice blueberry fucking flavor. Nice, um, not blueberry flavor, nice pomegranate flavor. There we go. So, I mean, for as far as flavor-wise, it gets a 10 out of 10 because it tastes exactly like it should. You know, this is not something for Team Cheap. It's just not. Space Jam's expensive, but I see why they ask for that because, you know what, in all honesty, it's probably actually worth the money. I can't really say one way or the other right now because I'm on Vapor's Fatigue. You know, I just, I can't taste my juice for more than a day. But anyways, for Andromeda, I give it 4 out of 5. You know, it's great taste, great smell, great everything. So it's just not my flavor profile. So if you like Fruity Vapes, check it out, Space Jam Andromeda. Now, let's go on to the next one. Space Jam Eclipse. I was scared of Eclipse, buddy. Let me tell you what. I was totally, totally scared to death of Eclipse. It's a tobacco, it's like Cornish, I don't know, it's some type of tobacco and vanilla bean. It smells terrible. It just smells. You can smell the tobacco in it. And I was scared to death of this. But, I'm like, you know what? I need to step out myself my norm because I have vapor fatigue. I need to get a flavor that I don't normally try. So, I picked it up. And let me tell you what, I'm glad I did. This is a good tobacco flavor. It's very, very good. It's got a, a strong, sweet tobacco. It's got the vanilla bean, not a vanilla extract flavor. It tastes like a vanilla bean flavor. So it's really, really good. You know, it's an acquired taste. It is a 100% acquired taste. If you don't like tobacco blends, try it. If somebody else does, if you can sample it someplace, give it a shot. You know, it is an acquired taste. I didn't think I would like it, but I absolutely, positively love it. Okay? It's good in a dripper. It's good in a tank. Now, here's what's interesting to me about the Eclipse. It's two totally different flavors, depending on how you do it. Okay? In 
the dripper, it's very mellow. I mean, it's like it's vanilla with a finish of sweet tobacco. Okay. In the Aero Tank, it's the other way around. It is the tobacco that finishes with the vanilla. It's very reminiscent, and I don't know how many people, I don't even know if they're still being made, but at one point in time, they made a vanilla Swiss or Sweet cigar, and that's what it reminds me of. Um, it's just, it's, it's a good juice. I actually give this juice five out of five, and this is the first juice I've given a five-star review to, you know, because it just, it's just good. You know, um, it's definitely made me open my eyes and start thinking about other all white fours and things like that, other tobacco and vanilla blends. It's just, it's just a good vape, you know. Um, so if you want to try a, a vanilla base, you know, a, a vanilla tobacco, a sweet tobacco vape, give it a shot. Um, you know, again. It's one of these things of Team Cheap Vape. This is not. This is not for Team Team Cheap. But sometimes you got to go outside of Team Cheap, you know. I think having cheap juice is what's really kind of burned me so much in so many juices, you know. I mean, I've tried Dream Vapor. I've tried Ecto. I've tried... Viperella. I've tried all these cheap juices. They're like five and six and seven dollars a bottle, and it's just it doesn't light up to this, you know. So five stars for Space Jam um, Eclipse. Again, it is an acquired taste. Everybody's taste is relevant, but if you want to try an all YI or all Y four, excuse me, give it a shot, you know. Um, I don't have the lungs today or the correct setup to really do a deep, like, lung hit to show you vapor production or anything on this juice. But it is just a flavorful, savory vape. So, other than that, um, that's all I got to say. Um, as I get more Space Jam, because I want to try the other two flavors that my vape shop carries, it's just a matter of money. But when I get them in, I'll do another review. So Space Jam, if you see it, give it a shot. You know, it's it's pretty good juice. So um, other than that, I don't have much more to review or anything else. Uh, I want to give a big shout out to Brandy's Bits too for letting me borrow the King mod. This is let me just do a quick little review of the King. You know, it's only eight minutes into this video, so you can hold on for another two minutes. This King is a killer killer mech um it actually came with uh it's three tubes that so screw together you know so you can take all the way up to uh, 18650 with a kick um it's a hard hitting mod it's well constructed it's got silver contacts i mean this is just by far the best mechanical mod for the money that i have tried um my little vape shop sells these they are $49.95 I think which is a little high being as you can shop around online and find them for much cheaper but for brick and mortar it's it's a great price and this is a great great clone the threading is nice and cut you know as Rip Tripper would say it's smooth as butter you know it's it's feels solid in your hand you know the lock ring has these nice little ridges on it so it's easy to lock and easy to unlock you know, as you can see, there's a slight gap between the caterpillar and the bottom of it. I'm pretty sure if I went down in there and adjusted the firing pin and everything else that I could fix that. But you know what? It's not my mod. It's on loan to me just so I could do this review for you. Um, uh, so check out the Keen mod. It's, it's well worth it. I've got one of these coming into me in brass that will actually be mine. Um, thanks to the people over there at Riddick. So, and uh, I have a giveaway going on a Reddit for a K101 and a bunch of juice. So, you know, check it out. Subscribe to my channel. The more people I get, the better off I'll be. And we'll go from there. Um, until next time, YouTube. Peace. I'm out of here.